pocket party. One of the things I, I like about you, and you know, we'll get into uh, a lot of the great stories you have, you know, with the people that got you into show business. But I love your your attitude of gratitude, and also the how you look at things mentally. You know, you have a, you were telling me a story one time about about your mind is like a garden. When I, I give motivation talks, as you know, uh, on four subjects, perception, visualization, self-talk, and develop a sense of humor. And I elaborate on those four points. And, um, you know, visualization, when I talk about the power of the subconscious mind, it's a book that changed my life called The Power of Your Subconscious Mind by Joseph Murphy. And the, I like to explain things to like I'll say to students when I'm talking to them, or, or you know, comedians, wherever I'm talking to, corporations, I take a glass of water and I'll pour dirt in it and I'll ask them, someone please drink this. And of course no one will. I say, you won't drink dirt, why would you think dirt? Mm. If you won't ingest filth in this part of your body, why would you ingest filth in this part of your body? Negative thoughts are dirt. Right. And I, I, I talk about that the mind is like a garden. Yeah. You know, your mind is like a garden. So, Positive thoughts are flowers. So if you planted flowers and in, in positive thoughts in your mind and weeds grew, negative thoughts, would you allow the weeds to grow in your garden? No, you'd dig the weeds out and you'd replant flowers. Right. And positive thoughts are flowers. We, we, you know, if you can control your thoughts, you can control your feelings. What a gigantic concept. The, the, sometimes when I'm giving a motivation talk, I'll say to them, before this is over with, I'm going to give you the secret. Because everybody's looking for the secret. Yeah. What's the yeah. secret? Yeah. Yeah. What's the secret to yeah. inner peace? What's the secret to success? You know, what's the secret? And by the time I end my, my motivation talk, I'll say, and here's what I wanted to tell you, the secret. The secret is you. You're the secret. Hmm. This is the vehicle you were given. This is your universe right here. And you can, you can plant flowers in your garden or you can plant weeds. But you have that control. You know, and that's, you know, not, you got me on a soapbox, so I have to back off. No, no, bit, I yeah. like it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that's what you're talking about. What I think the mind is a garden, mm -hmm. and f positive thoughts are flowers, and if weeds grow, we dig them up and we plant flowers, you know. Well, negative thoughts into your mind, of course they will. They're swirling through the universe all the time. We don't have to let them grow. You know, I am sometimes be thinking negative, thinking negative, and I go, oh, oh, what am I doing? Cancel, 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 like like your computer, delete, yeah. delete, yeah. Yeah. And, and dig the weeds out, and now I'll replant that with flowers and positive thoughts, you know. Uh, again, you know, uh, you have, you are far more powerful than you even can imagine you are. I remember one time I said, how you feeling or something? And you go, well, I'm feeling good. And if I'm not feeling good, I make myself feel good. I tell myself, and it's, that's, you're right, it's the power of, it's all in how you look at something, you know? Yeah, it is. It's, it, you know, self-talk. There's a book by Shad Helmstetter called Self-Talk. The most important person you'll ever talk to is yourself. Yeah. That's the most important person you're ever going to talk to is yourself. You know, and, and so say good things to yourself. Encourage yourself, you know. Mm. Uh, th there's so many ways I could go here, but uh, I remember being on a, a, um, a show many years ago, an ABC show in Las Vegas, and I was performing there. I was uh, performing at that time with Sammy Davis Jr. at Caesars Palace, and they had this ABC show there, and I, I, because I love motivation, they put me on, on the show with these two women. They wrote a book called Healing the Child Within. And I th it was fascinating, but inside of us is a child. There's a little Darren, yeah. and and little Darren, he's five, six years old. He's always going to be in here, and he, he's going to school, and he wants everybody to love him. He wants everybody to come. He's a, a nice little boy, a nice little soul, and he just wants everybody to love him. You know, but then adult Darren grows up. Yeah. But that little Darren never leaves us. Whenever you get anxiety, what, what do you get in the stomach, right? Yeah. If, you're, if you're worried about the set, you're worried about your really right. I always, yeah. I used to say when I first set it up, okay, little Tommy, adult Tommy's got to go out yeah. and do this job. Yeah. You know, uh, I'm going to get back to you later. Yeah. But oh, when, I like I, that. when I got confident out there, I let little Tommy out sometimes because he wanted to play too. Mm. I'd say something childlike on stage, you know. So anyhow. It's a lot of talk. But that's great. No, I like that. That's, uh, that's a good way to talk to ourselves. I have a question. When you, let's talk about Sammy Davis Jr. When you first <laughs> met Sammy Davis Jr., what was that like? Pocket party.